Hey everyone! So in case you guys don't know, I make food videos on my channel and also I have free recipe website and a lot of you guys recreate my recipes on my website on your channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a what you eat. Yes, what you eat, not what I eat. Please, like the video and we're gonna jump straight into it. This video! In today's video, I will be Hi. training and eating like Chloe Ting. I don't think I have to explain who she is. Let's just say she seems to be very sweet and keeps us fit. To make oh, it more fun, I will also try some of her new recipes she just released a couple days ago. Also, Thank you for saying that! For today's breakfast, we're gonna make some waffles. We're gonna need one egg, and then we need 62.5 grams of lupin flour. I have no clue what this is. You don't have to use exactly what I have, like especially if you don't have lupin flour, you could always use oat flour. I do that too. Like if I don't want to use lupin flour, I'll use oat flour. Sometimes I'll use regular flour. Sometimes I'll use a bit of banana flour. I just use what I feel like using that day. Like You just have to adjust the measurements a little bit because some flours are a little bit more absorbent, so you gotta add a little bit more like water or milk but you'll get better over time like once you start cooking you know what to do like eventually like it took me time okay i, I wasn't always this amazing cook five out of five rated cook i'm gonna use a mix of regular and oat flour one and a half tablespoons of sweetener we need a teaspoon of vanilla i'm using this vanilla paste vanilla paste is the way to go definitely prefer paste over the essence <gasps> wow that looks perfect i love your waffle maker okay let's try the waffles i'm excited they smell so good and i love when you're making waffles smells. the whole apartment smells yeah. like waffles very cool they taste really good oh my god i'm hungry they don't taste like protein powder at all that's because i only added a little bit of protein powder but if you want more protein powder usually whey protein will taste a little bit better than plant-based protein but you can find really nice plant-based protein these days as well okay let's rate this for the taste five out of five for <gasps> preparation I would give this a five, 4 out of 5 Any yeah. steps were pretty easy But it took longer I would totally do them again on weekends I think what she was trying to say Was that these are the best recipes in the world Literally the best <laughs> But yeah, like some recipes do take a bit of time. We're making hash brown and eggs. One, two, I like this three, recipe a lot. Parsley to garnish. I don't think I have a cast iron skillet. A pan should do the job. <laughs> you don't have to use a cast iron skillet or pan if you don't have it. You could just cook it over the stove or just put it on a little dish and put it in the oven. But cast iron skillets or pans are a great investment in my opinion just because you could bake in it. You have seen how many recipes I've made using my cast iron pan. So. But if you don't have it, it's, it's okay. You could just use like any sort of dishes that you can put in all of it. Filling and I usually don't eat my oh. Okay, all these videos are giving me a lot of anxieties, all right? All, all this cutting and shredding. Done. Mm -hmm. This looks like cheese. Perfectly brown. You can't tell. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's so crispy. Nice. So she did not put it in the oven, it's fine. For the taste, 5 out of 5. This was such a simple dish. Eggs and Thank potatoes, you. so simple. I think with ketchup or some sort of sauce, it would be even better. And then for preparation, also 5 out of 5. Mm -hmm. It was pretty fast. Oh, I'm so glad she liked it. And it's really, really cool to see some of you guys recreating my recipes. Like, it actually makes me really happy. I've seen them a lot on Instagram and on my Discord server. Like, people are trying them out and just really enjoying the new recipes. And we have a recipe up on the website every day so this one recipe every day so you gotta check it out every day <laughs> so i'll rate this it's really not that bad three out of five maybe and for preparation five out of five it was pretty easy i finished this and i gotta say maybe it's not a three out of five anymore i changed my mind it's now a two out of five i, I mean it's not bad it, it's really not bad the taste of the miso paste is just not my thing in conclusion it's not bad. Okay. It's good, but not my thing. Okay, that's it, guys. No more free recipes. People don't like them. There is no free recipe every day. There is zero recipe. I'm shutting down the website. It's gone forever. <laughs> I'm joking! Not everyone likes the same food and I get it. I guess if you don't like miso paste, then you won't like this. Miso paste can be really overpowering and really salty. It's like an umami taste, so some people aren't a fan of it. I really like those miso glazed eggplants that you can get in Japanese restaurants. So that's basically where I got inspiration from to make this recipe, but make it a little bit healthier in terms of instead of using bread, I use tofu. I'm gonna add a few more stars here. I'm gonna add two more stars, so it's four and a half stars. And then I could run it up and then 
then it's five stars. It's Andrew and you hey, are on Andrew. Yet, Forget, the show where I make popular food items on the internet get. and I review them. Oh guys, we got a professional food reviewer here. So today I'm gonna be rating Chloe Ting and her recipe on shrimp pasta and zoodle. I've been very skeptic over her stuff because she posts a lot of clickbaity YouTube titles like how to get abs in two weeks or like eat this to lose weight. Eat this to lose weight? Like I don't have that exact title. Now we're all skeptical of you. I mean you can clickbait but Chloe Ting, she can't. She can't clickbait. She can't. Oh that actually looks really good. <laughs> Dude, yeah, chef. I haven't had pasta in a while so. Okay, Golden Ramsey, please review me. What is in this meal? And it is shocking actually. Coming in at about 580 calories. It's surprisingly high in protein, not that high in carbs, and doesn't have too much fat. We've got protein at 68 grams. We've got carbs at 51 grams, and we've got fat at 11.5 grams. If I weighed and measured everything, that is a fantastic meal for the amount of calories that's in it. What the heck? Oh, he said nice things. Thank you, Andrew. I was about to hate you, but you said nice things. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's fantastic. I used the water I poached the shrimp in just to add an extra seafood taste mm -hmm. to the pasta. I don't think it made much difference, but the scallops taste very nice, very meaty, and the shrimp, so good. Flavor, four out of five. Texture, texture for what it is, half pasta and half zoodles, I'm giving it a four out of five. And the quality. So in the pictures of the dish, I don't have the best quality shrimp. Chloe Ting is, I think she's from Australia. So she's got access to prawns. Yes. And we have nice prawns cute. here. I just had these little baby shrimps. So the quality is actually on me. I think this recipe is greater than the sum of its parts. I think all of, all of the ingredients come together and make a really cohesive dish. So quality, four out of five. Health, is great. Packed with protein, not too many carbs, not too many fats. I give this a five out of five. <gasps> five out of five health! <gasps> calm down, calm down. Value, five out of five. The value Very of five out of five too. Very cheap. easy to make. Actually, this meal comes out to a 4.2 out of five overall. And that is for sure a get. Get all this stuff, get this get. recipe, and make it at home. Oh my god, that was a relief. I felt like I was being judged on MasterChef or something. Okay, thanks Gordon Ramsay. Thanks. What are you? An idiot sandwich. I am gonna be making dinner with my sister. Oh, so it's Chloe Ting's. I just recently found her recipe page, which is so weird because I've been doing her workouts for since like quarantine. Nice. And I never realized she had like a recipe page. Yeah, I just released the recipe page this year, so. First thing we're gonna make is balsamic glazed Brussels sprouts. I don't think we're gonna do the glazed thing. We're probably just gonna put balsamic. Little rant here. Please be careful with that knife. I'm actually terrified when I watch people cook. Like, um, but anyway, so I finished this. Your fingers and almost got your um, fingers. <gasps> oh my god, I can't. You are making me really anxious. I love your hair, by the way. Wait, we're making chicken. Oh my god, that knife was gonna poke you. Okay, we got our lunch. Cassie already ate some. Is it good? Okay, I'm gonna try the Brussels sprout. My food tastes good. I feel like it just tastes like the normal ones I usually make, but without like sweetness. I think it's good. You should try it. But Yay. vinegar. I feel like vinegar would taste better. It's really simple to make. Mm -hmm. So good. 10 out of 10 recommend. <gasps> 10 out of 10. So that's basically 5 out of 5, guys. Like, rating has been good, you know? So 5 out of 5. They made the food look really good. So thank you so much for trying. Now we're gonna make some desserts. I we love this. this yummy matcha, like, strawberry latte thing. And they're also making this, like, Greek frozen yogurt thing. I already put a bowl of, like, frozen yogurt in the freezer. So for the frozen yogurt, I'm just gonna put some. Just put, so to put frozen fruit, but our blender cannot handle frozen fruit. I think this Eight. is warm enough ish. Oh, uh, warm yogurt. Uh. Oh, uh, yo, yo, not even your anymore. yogurt doesn't. This is not a froyo anymore. This is what the frozen yogurt was supposed to look like. <laughs> but we don't have like the blue spirulina thing that makes it like that color, like for SAE bowls and stuff like that. So we just use strawberry because it said to use frozen fruit. And base. But I think that looks kind of good compared to the picture. <laughs> sure, Gabby, <laughs> sure. Oh, we ruined it. Ow. No. It's fine. Oh, it's wait, fine. Oh, look at the other side though. You just gotta pour it gently. You can pour it with your cup tilted a little bit and then you pour it in so it's like really slowly. Actual moment of truth now. We kind of ruined another layer, but hopefully this gonna <gasps> oh. That's too <laughs> <laughs> Like, 
how you do the latte art. You know, you gotta do it gently. Okay, frozen yogurt taste test time. Super cute and pink, but ready? It's okay. Well, you don't like it? It's okay. Like frozen yogurt's supposed to be frozen. It's kind of like a smoothie. No, it's more like a milkshake. Mm. Yeah, milkshake. I recommend this a lot. Use strawberries though. We use strawberries. But I feel like maybe mango would taste good too. Ooh, mango. <laughs> I love man blend of mango. But yeah, it's not what I recommend. Okay, that's it. That's all the recipes we have. We're gonna do more. Maybe we should make this like a series. A series? <laughs> a little chaotic but i love it i love these girls they're funny cute very cute thanks for trying out the recipes really appreciate it i'm glad you liked it we all know her she recently launched recipes on her website and i thought i like her workouts she seems like a nice person let's try one of her foods yes i'm very nice true story thank you very much so i got the sweet potato egg muffin recipe and we're gonna put it to the Wait, test. You printed it out? How are you gonna wash the ads if you print it out? <laughs> now we put into a bag with olive oil and then salt and shake. Very nice. I like this. Some salt. You need some salt on your chips. Uh, okay, <laughs> gotta shake it up, you know? Oh. I don't know about the wedges. I don't think that they are spread out very nicely. But you know, it doesn't matter how they look like. All it matters is how it tastes. Oh, that actually turned out. I think it looks pretty good from this angle. Like so this was actually like really, really good. I really liked it, but it was far too much effort to make. And my sibling was in the room, so it was just kind of mundane. But I hope you guys like this, and it was really fun to make. So I hope to see you guys next time. What do you mean that it was too hard? It was just potatoes, egg, and cheese. I probably wouldn't make it again because it took like forever. I think she's trolling me, guys. It's just cutting potatoes and then put some cheese and egg on top of it. I think that's pretty simple. What you're talking about? But she said that this was really, really good and she liked it. So that means that my recipes are the best. So based on what she said, it's 5 out of 5. My recipes are 5 out of 5. <laughs> In today's video, I will be following Chloe Ting's diet and her workout. My diet? She said that she makes her own bread, but for the sake of time, I'm gonna use some Albany bread. I'm gonna cut off these That's parts. fine. Yeah, I, I use my own bread sometimes, sometimes I don't. There we go. So it seems like I'm out of vanilla extract. If you don't have vanilla extract, maybe you could use cinnamon or chocolate powder, whatever you fancy. <laughs> I forgot to measure this stuff. Well, I didn't. I measured on my scale, but I forgot to film measuring the stuff. I think people don't realize how difficult it is to film cooking videos. It actually takes a lot of effort. I made this thing. Oh, forgot to film the final product. Oh. Mm, yeah. Actually, it's really good. So this is how the food turned out to be. I'm a YouTuber, but I forgot to buy berries and all of that stuff for this video, so. As long as it tastes good, that's all it that matters. Like, you don't have to put things prettily for it to taste good, but I gotta do it for my pictures on the website, so. There's a lot of effort going into it to make it look good. So this is how the salad yes, looks. Yes, the chicken so one. breakfast, definitely. I chef's kiss. Um, and lunch was a really good lunch. Breakfast, I'll give it hmm, 7 out of 10 because um, I was missing the ingredients. It was quite tasty, very much filling. 7 out of 10. Guys, I need more 10 out of 10s or 5 out of 5s, all right? We need them. I'm just joking. It's okay. <laughs> but for lunch, I'm definitely going to give that a 8 because I'm not a fan of vegan nuggets, but they give the nuggets taste. It's just weird for me. That's why I'm not a fan. But yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks so much for trying out my recipe, guys. Like, I really appreciate it because it took me a lot of effort to put out a website and also daily recipes so the fact that you guys tried it out and made a video about it that means a lot to me like i really really appreciate it so thank you so much for trying it out really nice to see you guys recreating on instagram or even tiktok like that's really really cool it's really cool to see my recipes out there and that's it for today's workout I mean video. I hope you guys like today's video. It's a new type of video. And if you make more videos of you creating my food, I'll make more videos reacting to your videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, leave me lots of comments because I like to read your comments. It makes me happy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Annyeong.